Our next guest is an entrepreneur, publisher, writer, sportswoman, and a pilot. Um, she's editor-in-chief of Devento.com, which is a website devoted to European culture. Um, and she is the founder of the Techpreneur Tech Awards for Women. Uh, Fiona Scott Lazaroff, welcome to the show. Good evening. Tell us, uh, tell us how you started your entrepreneurial career. <laughs> I probably started it when, as a child, because I was left very short of money by my parents. So I was always on the lookout of ways to make money. Um, but I think I, I, my first success really was when I was at university. I started dealing in property. I was working uh, for a firm of estate agents, so it was very easy to spot undervalued properties and it was easy to buy them and then uh, sell them on without ever having to, um, to, to, to put up the, the final amount of money. I think that's very difficult to do now, but in those days there were lots of opportunities. Um, I was fortunate enough to be at the Techpreneur Awards uh, for Women in December at the House of Commons, which was a fantastic evening. Tell us about the, uh, how you came up with that uh, concept and, uh, and, and, and what your ambitions uh, are with it. Um, in fact, it was originally an idea I had. Um, I was on the committee of a, a Mayfair Women's Club and um, a rather aging membership, and I decided that um, if we could attract women, dynamic young women in, entrepreneurs, it would really make a huge difference to the, the appeal to the club. Anyway, so I launched it um, with the University Women's Club in Mayfair. And um, it was a great success, but they, they, they weren't really very excited about it. Um, but because of its success, a lot of people said to me, um, well, you know, wh when's the next one happening? And um, luckily, you know, I had um, Jonathan Marks, Lord Marks is a long standing personal friend of mine. And um, he offered to sponsor it at the House of Commons. And I set to work on it, and uh, in, I think it took me a couple of months to go out to a lot of tech events. I, came, I left Paris, I came back to London, I made an extraordinary amount of contacts, and got a great team of judges together, and everything then fell in place. It was a bit scary, as usual. Yeah, yeah, every, yeah. every entrepreneur knows that there's sure. that scary moment when you wonder if, something, if you're going to pull something off. Um, but yes, it was a but great you success. Did. Yeah, fifty-one percent of the British population are female. Seventeen percent of SME owners are female. That's a, that's that's a, a big gap. What 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 what's being done, and what can be done um, increasingly to to narrow that gap? I think that women have to be given a lot more self-confidence, and it probably starts off uh, almost uh, as children. Uh, girls should be encouraged to. Um, to be more outspoken, to be more courageous, to take more risks. I think that, that, that there's still a problem that obviously women were kind of like designed to have children. And um, obviously um, there's something in the genetic makeup of a woman that stops her doing bungee jumping and things like that if, she, <laughs> if she's meant to be a mother. Because otherwise we'd have a lot of... Uh, children that weren't being taken care of. Um, so I think that these awards, the, the kind of thing like these awards, finding role models and encouraging women, showing women that they've just got to have more self-confidence and they've got to give it a go and they shouldn't be um, afraid of perhaps not succeeding the first time. How do you see the global landscape for female entrepreneurs? Are there countries where they're, they're, it's much stronger than others? Yes, definitely. Having lived in Paris for the last 25 years, I think that um, the role and uh, the situation of the French woman is probably at least 10 years behind um, what it is in London. Um, but this has always been the case. French women weren't, didn't actually um, get checkbooks until 19, I think it was 19, in the 1970s. And the reason they didn't have a checkbook, because um, until that date, 
they, had, they were not allowed to own any assets. The assets either belonged to their fathers or to their husbands. So in, even in countries like France, we've got a long way to go. And what about new emerging markets like China? How, how's the landscape there? I must say I don't really know that much about China, except that I have had um, uh, some quite a lot of Chinese, young Chinese people often doing internships, working on uh, Devento.com, which is, um, as you say, a, a real-time booking engine for cultural events. And one of the languages we do it in is Chinese. And I find them extremely, the women, extremely dynamic. Um, they're traveling a lot. They're studying a lot. Um, I, I don't see that they're, I would say that they're on the same path as, as, as people in London. And I would say exactly the same um, when it comes to Russia. The Russian and the Ukrainian women are incredibly dynamic, hardworking. Um, I think they're, beginning, giving, uh, they're, they're being given a lot of um, responsibility. And I would say that both the Russian and Chinese women are also very entrepreneurial. They're ready to, to take very risks, to yeah. stick, their, stick their necks out and, and go for it. So you've had a successful entrepreneurial career. If you were to give one piece of advice to your 20-year-old self, what would it be? That's a very difficult question. Um, I think actually the most difficult thing as an entrepreneur is knowing when to stop, when to um, draw that line. Um, but I'm not sure that I'm any better. Um, I've got any more experience in knowing when to draw that line now. And obviously that's also a line that investors have to decide on when they've invested in something is when you cut your losses and you run or you, you know, sure. move on to something else. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Fiona. We're going to call it a night there. Um, that's Fiona Scott Lazarus, founder of the Techrepreneur Awards for Women. It's quite a hard word to say, isn't it? <laughs>